Phil, I know you've spoken a lot in the past about your relationship with your brother when you were younger, and I was a brother. What was that like growing up? Um, pretty simple, obviously, being the youngest of the family. Um, you say you looked up to what your big brother and your big sister were doing, obviously. More so the big brother because he was obviously playing football and stuff like that. So it's a case of you were sort of following him around, probably getting in his way, wanting to sort of do the things he was doing. So I uh, got to an age where I was able to, probably around about 10, 11, where um, you know, he was 14, 15. He was just about able to, to put up with me. And it was a case of then, that's obviously when the sort of affection of football and stuff kicked in and uh, he was a big help. Was there a competition? Uh, between the two of you? <laughs> no, not really, no. I, I probably thought there was at the time, but uh, no, it was, good. it was good to me, obviously. I think whenever I got close or anything like that, he'd probably just step his game up and easily win, but you know, that's how competitive we were as a family. Same with my, with my dad. You know, we'd play tennis and things like that. It was never letting anyone win. It was never a case of that. It was basically um, when you were good enough, you'd win. Until then, deal with the consequences. Quite a sporty, competitive family then. Yeah, definitely. And like I say, when you get to an age, probably more close to 14, 15, things were getting a little bit more even. Obviously, I'd grown a little bit then. I was a bit stronger than than I was previously. And I was probably competing a little bit. And Dad was obviously getting a bit older. His, his bones were getting a bit a bit old. And Steve um, probably carried on winning. But like I say, he gave you something to, to shoot at. Um, so I'd, I'd like to say he was magnan magnanimous in, in, in victory, but... That would be a total lie. He used to have my face in it all the time, but I was part and parcel growing up. Who was the Yagelka tennis champ then? I think I'd be now. I'd be, obviously, my dad's got sore hips and I'm bigger and taller than my brother now, so I'd probably take advantage. But we used to have some good games and stuff like that. And you know, say if we weren't playing football, it'd be a sporty sort of challenge, whether it be abroad or whatever. And uh, say it, was, it got quite heated at times. Interesting that you said you probably thought there was a competition there, even if there wasn't. Do you think mentally having an older brother having somebody that you were trying to aspire to to be like them that make you the person you are today do you think i think it helps um i say i still play a lot of golf i play a lot of golf with my dad and he still wants to beat me obviously handicaps help and he does beat me quite a lot but as a family that's what we were always like um there was always a competitive edge to whatever we played you know monopoly and things like that there was plenty of boards getting thrown and tennis rackets and stuff and straps but I say I think that's just the nature of sort of what character you are, and it's something obviously that's helped me in football. You know, wanting to aspire to be as good as I can, to to win as much as I can, um, and giving you that sort of um, competitive edge. Of course, he has been there, done it. He's had his career now. He's retired. What do you think he makes of your achievements? Oh, he loves it. Obviously, he's coming to watch a few games now. Um, he's got, obviously got his own family and stuff, which take up a lot of his time. But you know, he enjoys it. I think he's proud. Obviously, to have a little brother that's done pretty well and stuff like that. He's bringing his friends and stuff uh, to watch games. And I say it's nice nice to know that I've got his full support. Uh, I say, and I think he knows that he's obviously played a, a decent role, especially in the early days of sort of my development, not only as a, as a footballer, but as a person. Still competitive now, the pair of you? Yeah, massively. If we play anything, golf, pool, dart, anything. Um, I'm not leaving till I've at least won a game or two, so uh, it gets really competitive.